We're now watching the wash daily. Today in news, New York City looks to decriminalize cannabis, allowing the people to have cannabis on their person, and also for people to grow cannabis in New York. Representative Crystal People Stokes has been fighting with Mayor Cuomo for the past few years about Cuomo's policy for cannabis that he was looking to put forward. It didn't really look at the economic empowerment piece, nor did it allow for people to grow their own cannabis in New York. Well, now because Cuomo has been accused of sexual misconduct and his role in the deaths of all the old people in the homes in New York, he doesn't really have much of a leg to fight on anymore. And so now, the initiative that was put forth by the people of New York looking for home grow and for programs to help drug addicts, that looks like it's going to pass. And now Cuomo says he's going to sign it on Tuesday, it looks like it might happen. A sock company in North Carolina, Bear Fiber, they're using about 30% hemp in their sock product. They're out of North Carolina. They were interviewed recently by Hemp Today. Their representative, Guy Carpenter, was interviewed. He was talking about the difficulties that companies have utilizing hemp from the marketplace. It's very hard for people who are growing hemp to get their hemp to the market and for those materials to be turned into clothing and fibers that are useful. What Carpenter says is he like to see Decorate caters next to every cotton gin in the country. There's a big initiative to get us off of cotton. Cotton's a very difficult crop to grow. It's also very dirty. And so if we can start transitioning to a hemp-based economy, it'd be much better for many reasons. The Biden administration Justice Department picked Vanita Gupta is coming under fire at a comment she made in 2012 regarding drugs and decriminalization. She said in 2012 she was for the decriminalization of drugs. Now she's being questioned about her position saying that, of course, she was misinformed. And that's the reason why she said that in 2012. Now, she's saying she is for the criminalization of drugs. Thanks for watching The Watch Daily.